Alrighty guys, we're back for a janky little standard build here. I'm calling it Ruby Red. It's just mono red mid-range uh, treasures, right? That's the whole point of the deck and uh, we'll see how it goes. Honestly, I'm just going to take it into ranked because why not at this point? I think it would be more fun to see if the deck can actually compete against the meta. Um, that being said, you know, uh, play mode has been looking ever more tempting as the as the weeks have gone on here, and we, we do see more variety in play mode. But I don't know. Today, we're going to take it into ranked and see if we can crush some of the meta decks. That being said, I don't think it's good enough for ranked, so, j you know, just a heads up there, right? <laughs> okay, let's go over the deck then uh, and see how it goes, right? Oh, hey, first things first, though. For anyone who may not know, I'm Red Cat, and I play aggro decks and any decks with red in them as well. Additionally, guys, we do got that sub goal set all the way up at 1,000, so if you want to help us reach that goal, uh, it's much appreciated, friend. So, you know, hey, thank you. Th hey, thank you for all the recent subscribers as well. You guys are crushing the goal so far, so yeah. Thank you, thank you. We got two Abrades, a great card, hits an artifact as well if we need to. Four Dragon Fires, uh, because we got dragons in here and this could totally do a ton of damage. We got four Magdas, because treasure. We got four uh, Reckoner Bank Busters, because tapping the Magda is pretty good. Uh, that being said, it does crew for three, that is noteworthy, right? But then also, this draws us cards when we're if, if we're not using that mana to like remove creatures and stuff. And eventually does get us a treasure as well. So, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, that's something. We got a Shatter Skull smashing in here. Going to drop that in the mana base, right? We got four Fable of the Mirror Breakers. More treasure. Uh, more ways to, like, you know, you can copy a, a freaking uh, Goldspan Dragon or something ridiculous, right? <laughs> Off the Reflection, which sounds really good. We got two Seas the Spoils because treasure. We got two Zorns. I don't know if that's how you pronounce this or not, but, you know, treasure. <laughs> also, interesting line of play. Turn two, uh, Bank Buster into turn three Zorn is actually pretty good because Zorn can actually crew up the Bank Buster on its own. So that's pretty cool, right? And then if Zorn somehow survives, um, creating extra treasures is really, really good. Uh, with cards like um, Atsushi, the Blazing Sky, right? So, you know, if you would create one or more treasure tokens, instead create those tokens plus an additional treasure token. Pretty cool, right? So uh, Blazing Sky gets us more treasures. Unexpected Windfall gets us more treasures. Uh, burn Down the House is just necessary because board wipes are necessary right now. Um, and then, you know, Goldspan Dra Dragon as well. Extra treasures off the Zorn. Let's go. <laughs> uh, obviously, more treasure. And Infernal of the Star Mounts on the top end. Where do we plug all those extra treasures into? Extra damage off the Inferno, right? Pretty cool. C couple Den of the Bugbears just in case. Crucible of Defiance. And of course, I already went over the uh, Shatter Skull Smashing. 20 extra land there. Uh, 23 total. Um, plus the Shatter Skull. So 24 total technically, right? And then all the treasures hopefully warrants the fact that there's only... 24 even though like it's it's pretty top heavy here right pretty basic deck guys uh control the opponent's board state the best that you possibly can um slam creatures onto the board and then slam big dragons onto the board and that's that's it right pretty easy so let's go ahead and hop into some ranked and see how it goes Well, I'm not saying it's a bad hand. The burn down the house is here at least. Uh, I, I think we keep this. Might be up against werewolves or something ridiculous. So we'll see. There's no way, right? I've, I've been up against a lot of mono white today. So I'm trying to record uh, my videos for the week. And it's just uh, every other match is like mono white or... Um, or the white splash of Hal and Al, which looks so good, but I, I don't want to play it. I want to play it, but I don't want to play it. Like, it's just like, it's one of those decks where I, I want to put my own spin on it, but it looks pretty well thought out by the pros. <laughs> so anything I do to it will probably make it a little bit worse. 
Oh, nice. At least we got a turn three play here. That's really good for us. And the burn down the house is like, it's still going to be huge. It's going to be huge for us to have that burn. Apparition hits Fable. We don't mind it. It's an easy block into the adversary if they do. Portable hole takes the... Takes the... Oh my goodness. Opponent. Okay, so it is... It's simple mono white. So we just have to survive long enough to let the burn happen. It's going to be the uh, at sushi. Even though it gets gobbled up by our own burn down the house, we have to be prepared to block. Another apparition can take it. Like, it has to be this card right now. Um, Brutal Cathar. <laughs> Brutal Cathar also hits it, but check it out, guys. Check it out. Burn down the house is about to wreck base, except unless they have a Valorous Stance left in hand. In which case, like, man, the opponents have had it today. They did not have it. Let's go. Couple creatures back on our side is huge. <laughs> Elite Spellbinder. We can block that with the Blazing Sky. Very nice. That's a that's a good card to grab over the Magda since we have two Magdas. Ooh, another unexpected windfall though. Probably we could discard the mount mountain, but we could also discard uh, the Magda here too. And we're so low that we don't want to swing with the Blazing Sky or anything like that. That's the problem though, right? Another Brutal Cathar or Skyclave could, could hit at any moment. So I think it's going to be get the Magda down, play the mountain, and keep the Unexpected Windfall open. We could swing on the ground. I don't know if they're going to have like haste on the ground. It re really, it comes down to... Will they have removal for our Blazing Sky before we get removal um, for their Elite Spellbinder, right? I, I think that is what it comes down to. We can seek, not seek, but we could search for removal. Okay, Intrepid Adversary. We still block into the Spellbinder if, they, if that's what they decide to do. But we start with the windfall just in case because we could find removal they do not we still go windfall here ditch the magda see what we draw a couple treasure zorn hi zorn let's go let's go guys <laughs> I was so happy that Zorn is on the board right now. And we got the Seize the Spoil, too, if we really wanted to. Could swing with the Magda. Fable of the Mirror Breaker isn't bad. What what we need to find, though, is removal for the Spellbinder. Because, yeah, they're, they're really just looking for removal right here. There's going to be uh, Swing with Magda. Uh, swing with Illusion. No, I'm not risking it this time. Because they just take the damage, man, you know? Okay. So, Seize the Spoils is a sorcery. Don't want to don't wanna misplay that, right? Couple extra treasures. Um, Shatter Skull. It's for four. That's perfect. That is literally perfect. So, Shatter Skull. Or. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to hit for four. We need it to hit for three. Hit two on the adversary. Cancel. Save an extra treasure here. Almost a misplay there, guys. X is three. Boop, boop. Like that. Auto pay. There it is. 
There it is, guys. Okay, now the question comes, can they reestablish a board state in time? Oh, Sunset Revelry. I like that. I like that in the mono white. That's kind of cool. Good game? Good game, opponent. Good game, bro. Wow, we actually got there. The importance of burn down the house, guys, tells me right away that we probably want to go up a couple, um, mainly because right now there's two things that we're up against constantly. It is either some serious control like Orzov or it's serious aggro like mono white or mono white splash of Hallandale or runes. So yeah, burn down the house seems important. At least going up to three of them, maybe. Um, I don't know. Like I guess initially when I built the deck and having two of them, like you you like sometimes you think like oh that's enough that's totally enough like we'll see it if we need it, hopefully and, but I think the reality is that yeah once you actually bring it in versing the meta then then you start to know like oh yeah we definitely need more of these or and stuff like that uh so no removal here but i like the hand so i'm gonna keep it maybe we're finally up against a control matchup too that would be sweet i mean it wouldn't be sweet because they'd probably uh control us to death but i i want to showcase the deck versus other types of decks right <laughs> if that makes sense Opponent is thinking. I think we go. Um, do we go Zorn or Fable on turn three? Probably depends. Ooh, Magda on turn three could be cool too. But I think it's Zorn, so we can power up the uh, Bank Buster. Start swinging with that, maybe. Luminarch removal for that right now would be really good. Not going to see it, but we can still swing. This isn't bad. Brew. It's not bad. Save it as a blocker? Nah. You're talking to an aggro player who doesn't understand the concept of control. <laughs> okay. So. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Let's spread the counter, swing for two. Inferno is cool. I think it's gonna be Magda this turn. And then have the Reckoner Bankbuster draw us a card. There's no point in keeping it open unless the opponent thinks we ha have uh, removal or something along those lines. Um. Unless we do it now for the sake of two treasures. No, that, it doesn't let us cast anything, so. Um, yeah, we go no attacks, end turn, and we get ready to do the uh, remove a charge counter from Reckoner Bankbuster. So, plug it into the sky, I would say. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me, too. Swing for four. We do this now. Oh, we don't get treasures from that. I'm crazy, guys. I'm crazy. We don't get treasures until all these are gone. So what we could have done, uh, what, what we're going to do is tap down the Magda and the Zorn. <laughs> I, I always do that. I always think my cards are more powerful than they actually are. Anyways, you get you get the treasures from the Magda uh, outlet here, which is obviously really good. I think they have the um, I think they have the, the the Wandering Emperor open, by the way. So they take the Bank Buster, but the treasures was worth it because Goldspan comes down and swings at the uh, Wandering Emperor. Then. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that was worth it? I, I think it totally was. Okay, so mountain. 
gold span. Gold span at Emperor. You at base. And keep Zorn as uh, emergency blocker slash just make sure that it doesn't die to the Luminarch so we get a lot of treasures, right? Um, we still get a lot of treasures though. I think maybe the trade into the Luminarch is fine. They might even choose the Magda over. Hey, we could search for a dragon. <laughs> uh, I don't think so though. I think we hold this back for now. See what they do. Take all the damage, sure. See you later. Um. Oh, 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 I can't play the dragon. So, sacrifice five treasures, search your library for an artifact or a dragon card, then put that card on the battlefield, then shuffle. So that looks like I can do it as an instant. So I'm gonna do that as an instant. <laughs> Yeah, we can only play one card. Oh man, that that card holds people back, doesn't it? Seems really good. Thalia! Get out of here, Thalia. You, you, you ruined my fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, counter into that seems really good. I don't know if I would have just plugged it into the sky, though, instead. Okay, uh, we're still going to do this. Three, four, five, submit, grab a dragon, and it's going to be gold span. This would be good too, but I think it's gold span. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. Let's see what they do here. They have three open. Wow, okay, here we go, here we go. They have to block the Inferno because this is a ton of treasure that we can pump into it. Or just kill it. They they could totally have a Valorous stance. Take out the Inferno. But if they don't if they don't take out a gold span, we're gonna get so much treasure. They end up marching for three. To get rid of the Zorn, so we get we end up getting less treasure here, but it's still like it's still full swing worthy, right? Treasure off the Magda. If they're forced to block the Inferno out of the sky, it's worth it. It's worth it because we have the Fable of the Mirror Breaker once their um Ar Arkan dies, right? Because we can buff this by eight because of the gold spans. Yep, yep, yep. It's it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so that dies. We don't have to buff you. Eight damage goes through. And Fable of the Mirror Breaker comes down. And we have an emergency blocker. Very nice. This is a lot of value, guys. I gotta be real with you. I, I wasn't expecting... Uh, you know... I mean, treasures are amazing, but... Zorn, yeah, good game opponent. Zorn coming in like super hot there. Holy, I, I like wow. Yeah, I, I'm taking it back. Zorn was pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, it does seem to be a pretty bad card because it dies to like everything and has a huge target on his back. But like, wow, was it good there? Holy cow. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Uh, let's see if we get right into the next match. Uh, th that was beautiful. The The first match wasn't the best, unfortunately. Like, it, it sucks that that has to be the first match that we showcase, but um, worst comes to worst, if I edit the deck, we could start with some of the wins, and th that's one thing I don't like to do. Obviously, I don't uh, cut out the losses. <laughs> However, if it's, if it's a miserable match... Uh, and we have other losses to showcase than than sometimes I do. Depends though. Like the last last good portion of videos I haven't actually edited at all. So yeah, I, I do like to showcase losses too. That way people know what they're getting. So we don't play Magda because uh, Shamble Buddy kills Magda really well, and so Deadly Dispute or. 
Okay, so we're gonna we're going to Dragon's Fire the Shamble Buddy. The main reason here is they want to kill it anyways. I don't want them to kill the Magda. Um, <laughs> so Deadly Dispute into the Eye Twitch is 100% okay. Like it's it's weird removing cards from Orzov, but it's like it's one of those things. Do you guys know what I mean? I'm gonna go the Magda over the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Which might seem weird. They they kind of do the same thing. Uh, my thought process here. Okay, wedding announcement. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. It's going to be Zorn. Swing with Magda. So, my thought process by doing Magda first was... The, the chances of them having the blockers available for the Fables uh, tokens was, was pretty high. And I'd rather the Magda die over the Fables tokens because uh, of that legendary on the Magda. We have four of them in the deck and they we might get stumped on it. <laughs> it seems like super out there and either play would have been 100% fine. Like, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, technically we'd get, like, the discard abilities on, and... But see, they would have had the double blockers for it, too, so... It, it's like... It did work out as I anticipated. My turn. Come on, land, please. Oh, okay, alright, well... Um, a gold span getting gobbled up by... Gold span getting gobbled up by a Vanishing Verse is just not something I want to see here. So it's going to be Fable this time round. We obviously swung so we got to gold span range, but them having these open, you have to anticipate a Vanishing Verse, 100%. Uh, at least in this case here, we do have the uh, Dragon's Fire open. We don't play Magda because of uh, Meat Hook, and we don't swing a Zorn because of the uh, double block. So yeah, uh, that that is... This turn is a no-go. At least we got the Fable. There's the Vanishing Verse. <laughs> so something to note, if they did Vanishing Verse the Goldspan Dragon, we would have got one treasure back. We, uh, Oh, no, we would have gotten two. Never mind, Zorn's out there. Oh, yeah, we totally could have done that, guys. That's my bad, actually. Yeah, we would have just got both of our treasures back. But in this scenario, at least we still have a 2-2 uh, Goblin Shaman, right? So... I don't think we ping that with the Dragon's Fire this turn. I, I don't... I don't think we do. Uh, Bank Buster, man. We need more land, apparently. That's brutal, man. Some extra... We get extra there. Um, I'm doing it this turn. It's happening. We're swinging. We get four treasures. And uh, that lets us do a ton of stuff. So, we swing at face because the Loth is going to die to our Dragon's Fire. And let's see what they do first. Double block the Gold Span. We have another Gold Span. That's fine. And then they do trade on the ground there. Um, so, we are going to... Uh, choose a dragon you control. Sure, why not? We'll do extra damage to Loth, right? Auto pay. Three mana available, but we still don't play anything unless it's the uh, unless it's the Bank Buster. Um, that only gives us four mana though. So <laughs> again, we might not see a land, and we want to be able to get Gold Span down. So Loth dying there is huge. There's still two land away from. Uh, from a, a blood on the snow. Zorn is a goner and a swing with the tokens. No land. It's like it's like I was anticipating, but we have the abrade open, which does not hit the uh, wedding of festivity. Uh, two extra mana here. It's worth getting the bankbuster down now because we can start drawing cards with it next turn. 
Uh, especially if they decide to kill the gold span, we can go ahead and draw a card. We're trying to see land, really. That's what we want to see, but... I think the opponent wants to see land too, honestly. Try to see some land here. Yay, we got a land, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Down to 12. Yeah, the opponent's looking for land as well, and look at us, guys, getting the Magdas. Getting the Magdas is huge here. Oh, wait, wait, I can't cast both my <laughs> I just got done saying it's legendary. I am insane, guys. Can we... I think, yeah, we're, we're just going to draw a card. But we want to keep the abrade open. So we're going to pass. Oh, man. They got to land. We take four? Let's draw. See what we get. Another land would be good. Bank Buster. No blocks. Down to eight, which is very dangerous. Ooh, Edgar. Okay. We got to land there. We're searching, we're searching for something that can, uh, help. Ooh, that does block really well. Get extra, uh, treasure there, too, from the tap. We just want to save these as blockers first before we, uh, crew it up with Magda. We crew it up with Magda and the pilot. No attacks, end the turn. Yeah, they have six mana now for uh, Blood on the Snow. Okay, so... They're keeping four mana open here. They got the Exile. Maybe we crewed up... No, no, no. We want the, we want the treasure here. So how this works is we block here, probably take the four. <laughs> it's getting dangerous, getting dangerous. Uh, Magda, because we have the other Magda, crew up, get a treasure. Down to four, very dangerous. Wedding announcement. Okay, we have the Abrade. Seize the spoils. <laughs> I think the opponent got us here, guys. We needed to see our one of our board wipes, which, you know, that tends to be the case anymore. How about it? You get the other Magda down. Oh, maybe it was seize the spoils first. Have the Abrade. Okay, so we pass, and any amount of removal here, I think, will do it. Like, we, we want to keep the abrade open. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, yeah, so they're not swinging there. So, I think this is as simple as... I think this is as simple as blocking... With, well, let's get the extra treasure. I think letting the bank buster die here is fine. So we, we block here, right? We drop the abrade. Let's see what ends up happening here. So this comes back as an uh, artifact. So another abrade would totally get us there. Woo! Okay, third third wedding announcement probably does it but you never know unexpected windfalls pretty good i think it sees the spoils first so we're looking for removal here obviously we're at four okay unexpected windfall not terrible as we have extra blockers now but I don't think we're going to get there, guys. Ooh, that is a lot of power on their board. And they're all about to... Oh! Oh! 
Good game opponent. You found it, buddy. That was awesome. Orzhov being very, very powerful. Hey, 50% total win rate. It's still pretty good, though, here in, uh, like, like, we're actually in ranked right now, so, uh, you know, a janky little treasure deck going up against the meta. I like it. That was a lot of fun, guys. So let's go check out the deck again. Deck, and here's the deck list, guys, and it's it's a simple one, man. We, we got treasures. We slammed some dragons on the board. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Magda was excellent. Zorn was freaking awesome, but still a pretty janky card, I would say. Goldspan is obviously one of the best red cards in standard right now. Yeah, not a lot to say here. Don't know what I would actually change except going up some burn down the houses and going down something else. Um, oh, more land too. Maybe drop the seas, the spoils. Drop two seas, the spoils. Go up a burn down the house and up a land. Yeah. That's what I would do. Hey guys, if you made it this far into the video, y'all are champions and I super duper appreciate you. I will see you in the next video.